The thing is now, uh, there's something called Peaker's Advantage. And it's also known in many other games, mostly like something like lag compensation is a common term. First off, interp and lag compensation are the reason that you actually get Peaker's Advantage. However, on LAN, without that lag compensation, because everybody's got zero ping, you're gonna find that most people holding angles will win more often than not. He's got 20 better ping and Peaker's Adventure. And just timingly peek these corners and you have the advantage and the element of surprise if you're the one peeking him. You're like, someone can come here and just pre-fire this corner. And a lot of the times, even if they're not pre-firing you, they're going to outreact you because they're peeking really fast. It's a commonly held belief that a player peeking has a general advantage in shooting a player who is stationary defending. Some attribute this to the peeker having a high ping, to lag compensation, to interpolation, and some blame it on clock correction. There's a grain of truth to some of these claims, but from what I've seen, most players have got it completely wrong. It's my hope that this video will not only explain the concepts involved in this topic, but demonstrate them adequately. But first, we need to define a few terms, some of which get misused a lot. Lag compensation is how the game accounts for ping and interp when calculating if your shot should have hit a player. Lag compensation only applies to where your shots land, not when they land. Interpolation is a delay the game gives your client's view of the game to render the positions of players more smoothly. Prediction, or client-side prediction, is what allows the game to react to everything you do in real time, even though there's a delay before the server registers that you've sent a command. For example, if you have 200 ping, it takes 100 milliseconds before the server will recognize a movement command. On your screen, however, you seem to move immediately, which can allow you to see players before the server even knows you've moved yet. Packet loss is when a packet of data fails to either reach your computer or the server. This can cause a player to teleport from the perspective of other players, or to rubber band on his own screen. A lag switch is a deliberate and controllable form of packet loss that allows a player to introduce a delay when he wants one and remove it when he doesn't. Okay, now let's look at how hits are registered with the server. This graphic illustrates the order of events if I'm the defender and someone peeks me. We'll start with my perspective. They step into view of me and after half of their ping, the server recognizes that they've moved. After half of my ping, my client is updated on their position. After interpolation, their new position is finally rendered and I can now begin to react. After I left mouse click, there's another half of my ping before the server registers my shot. Now from their perspective, after they step into view of me, I'm immediately visible because of prediction. They decelerate, aim, and fire, and after half of their ping, the server registers that they fired. The first shot to reach the server is the first one that the server registers. There are no delays to account for ping in regards to this. So in both cases, for the defender and peeker, the players have to wait for the peeker's ping. In the defender's case, he has to wait for the peeker's ping before he can see the peeker. In the peeker's case, he has to wait for his own ping before his shot will register with the server. The big difference between the two perspectives is that the defender has to wait for his own ping before he can see the peeker and before his shot registers, and he also has to wait for interp. This means that any advantage a peeker gets from ping is always equal to the defender's ping. The peeker's ping is actually completely irrelevant. To demonstrate this point, I recorded some footage of myself playing against my roommate. Here's what it looks like to peek op against op with land conditions. Now here's what it looks like to peak with 900 ms. Note that since the defender has no ping, there's actually no advantage either way here. To prove it, here's me pre-firing with 900 ms. You could say I have a peeker's advantage, but it's due to pre-fire, not ping. Now we'll look at me defending with 900 ms. This is where peeker's advantage really comes into play. I have a delay before I can see him peek me, and a delay before my shot will register with the server. He doesn't have either of those delays, so he has a full 900 ms advantage against me here. Alright, let's take a quick look at why the defender has a big advantage in this particular scenario. Here's an overhead view of the area. The defender was here, and the peeker was here. Since the defender has already cleared the corner closest to him, it's irrelevant. The corner obscuring his view of the enemy is the one very far from him. For the peeker, however, that corner is very close to him. 
Due to geometry, often called taking a wider angle, the defender has a very large advantage here when ping is not a factor. And the defender will almost always have a wider angle. A good player when defending will always try to position themselves such that the peeker has to hit closer to the corner than themselves. Otherwise, the defender would simply post up at a different location. So we demonstrated that the peeker's ping is irrelevant. He will always have a ping advantage equal to the defender's ping in interp. In a land setting, that's around 20 milliseconds. But we also demonstrated that the defender will generally have an advantage due to geometry, which is usually 30 milliseconds or more. Additionally, depending on the weapon the peeker is using and its tactics, he'll have to decelerate to 33% movement speed before he can fire accurately. Every weapon takes about 63 milliseconds to decelerate from 100 to 33%. Even with a perfectly timed counter strafe, this gives an additional advantage to the defender, during which the peeker is visible to the defender but can't yet fire. The big exception to this is most pistols and SMGs, which don't need to stop moving to shoot. This might contribute to the feeling that many players have that pistols are too strong. With an op, however, even if the peeker counter strafes preemptively, as he usually will, the advantage in this situation is about 72 milliseconds in favor of the defender, even including interp, if we assume the defender has no lag. Every millisecond of lag the defender has is a millisecond of advantage he's losing. In this situation, once he has more than 72 ms, the peeker begins to have an advantage. 70 ms isn't that much online, but bear in mind that even at 100 ms, the defender is at less than 30 ms disadvantage in this scenario, with all factors accounted for. That's going to be around 13% of most players' reaction speed. Significant, yes, but with such a high ping, it's not much to complain about. There are many real-life factors which will cause fluctuations larger than that. You might be thinking, but wait, I've seen examples of extreme peeker's advantage, I've even gone into demos and confirmed it. Yes, in some cases the defender might die before ever even seeing the peeker. How is that possible if everything else I said is true? Shouldn't the peeker always become visible on the defender's screen before the defender sees himself die? That would be true if the defender were stationary. What's actually happening is that the defender is walking even further behind the corner when he dies. The defender has some lag, and due to client-side prediction, he obscures his own view of the enemy before the server even knows he's moved. It's like peeking with a high ping, except in reverse. From the peeker's point of view, the defender's still standing in the open when the peeker comes around the corner. In this case, lag compensation may be relevant, because it tells the server that the peeker was indeed aiming at the defender when he fired a shot. So in reality, this wasn't peeker's advantage, it was more like unpeeker's disadvantage, dying after going behind a corner to an enemy you hadn't yet seen. If the defender had stood still, he couldn't have died without first seeing the peeker. So does peeker's advantage exist? Yes, in a few cases. One is if the peeker pre-fires. The peeker knows when he'll peek and the defender doesn't. This allows the peeker to fire predictively, eliminating up to 250 milliseconds of response time. It's essentially impossible to beat a peeker who pre-fires without pre-firing faster. Another case is if the defender has high ping and interp, enough to make up for the peeker's deceleration and angle. Another is if the peeker has packet loss that just happens to lag right until he fires out of pure chance. Or he might use a lag switch to do this intentionally. And finally, if the peeker has a wider angle, this can give a large enough advantage in some cases to make up for deceleration. In general though, when we're talking about people with less than 50 ms ping, the defender will almost always have the advantage. Usually the defender will take an advantageous position which forces the peeker to get closer to the corner than the defender. The peeker also usually has to decelerate to fire. On top of that, the defender will already have their crosshair lined up to shoot the peeker, and the peeker will often need to adjust his aim before he can fire, since the defender can hold slightly different angles at every spot. And I haven't even mentioned the fact that under some circumstances, the peeker won't even see the defender until after a delay. I believe this is a change that was added to cut down on wall hackers, but it negatively impacts a peeker with a high ping as well. Anyway, I hope this video clarified a few things, and will cut down a bit on the erroneous attribution of various events to some kind of general peeker's advantage, which doesn't actually exist. If you liked the video, consider giving it a like, and if you want to see more quality CS content, consider subscribing. Thanks fam.